This is Dr. Mark Barkey, professor at the University of Alabama. Uh, this is an introduction to the course AEM 648 Theory of Plasticity. And I want to uh, talk a little bit about this class, uh, uh, kind of the overall objectives and what we're trying to achieve with it. If you take a class in Theory of Plasticity from different people, it will probably be a very different class. Unlike other classes like maybe Continuum Mechanics or Theory of Elasticity where the topic is fairly well defined and not too different from instructor to instructor. Theory of Plasticity is a, a currently active and ongoing topic of research. It's been around for a while, but there are still advances being made in it. And different uh, people will teach the class in different ways and cover different topics. My perspective on Theory of Plasticity is coming from the point of view of fatigue analysis, in particular multi-axial fatigue analysis. And so that'll be the perspective that I give in this. Uh, but we'll talk about some of the other aspects of plasticity as well, uh, hopefully, as we go through this class. So the different topics that uh, I know that I want to talk about and I believe we'll get to do is uh, uniaxial monotonic plasticity, uniaxial cyclic plasticity. Uh, then we'll get ready for some uh, introduction to multi-axial plasticity. We'll go over briefly some elements of continuum mechanics, talk about multi-axial yield criteria, uh, yield surfaces, and stress space, talk about stress-strain relations for proportional loading, and then the incremental plasticity, which would be for non-proportional loading. Just as an aside, proportional loading would be if we have something like sigma and tau, that they are uh, proportional to one another throughout their loading history. And in incremental plasticity, we could deal with other types of loading paths where they have non-proportional loading. So maybe uh, we change them proportionally at first, but we hold one constant and we vary the other and uh, so forth. Also hope to talk a little bit about high strain rate plasticity, plasticity of anisotropic materials, and stress space versus strain space. If we have time, we'll cover some more classical elements of plasticity, such as limit loading. Uh, we'll definitely talk about the pi plane and some different aspects like that, uh, Drucker's postulate, and um, in, in different aspects. Um, as part of this class, I also hope to do a little bit of Fortran programming. Uh, you may think of Fortran as an old and dead language, but it's still being used. It's also uh, very handy to know for troubleshooting and adding to legacy codes. A lot of legacy codes are written in Fortran, fun enrollment codes and so forth. It can also be used as a user material model language for uh, UMAT for fun enrollment program Abacus. And as part of this class, I hope to go through and discuss the development of a UMAT for Abacus and uh, Let's see what I can do for my in-class students to give them access to a compiler uh, for Fortran that will allow them to uh, give this a shot on their own to construct this uh, a working UMAT. It's one of the very powerful features of Abacus is to be able to program in your own material models as well as your own element behavior and so forth. So those are the things that I'm going to try to accomplish. Now, um, I will be uploading this video and some others to YouTube. And um, for those that um, watch this that are not in my class, um, this is what it is. Um, you know, it can be a little difficult to write on this tablet that I have. I'll do my best to have clear audio. I'll do my best to have clear video. But, uh, you know, this is not... Uh, uh, my full-time job and so I'm just trying to uh, share this a little bit. If you find this useful that's great. If you don't find it useful well let me know what I can do to improve it and uh, and I will take that into consideration. Alright so uh, AEM 648 Theory of Plasticity will start off with our first video talking a little about uniaxial monotonic plasticity that uh, will basically be a little bit of a review if you've had any stress strain curve type uh, work done before but uh, we'll start there with the basics and then we'll kind of expand from that topic. 